this will be an introductory presentation uh, to wrap as applied to broadcasting and um, uh, the particular demonstration is for digital television and uh, there are other videos in this series of broadcasting that also should be viewed because uh, this one on digital television will not give the complete picture not even for for that digital television so please view the other ones also uh, I start wrap by clicking on the icon uh, on the desktop <coughs> I log in as guest which is convenient for this demonstration it requires no password and I have no need for access restrictions uh, for this uh, demonstration uh, this uh, uh, installation my installation was set up to uh, to start with an empty project window it uh, displays uh, to the left uh, the connected databases I have one wrap database that's my working database both readable and writable then I have a number of archive type of databases the FM TV database from uh, ITU <coughs> FXM LFMF and also the Geneva 06 digital uh, database of uh, uh, digital television and uh, uh, terrestrial audio broadcasting digital audio broadcasting uh, for region 1 and there are a few others here um, I can start uh, another project which uh, sets a map uh, for me this is a map in part of Sweden and this uh, particular part of Sweden is available in in our demo version of RAP so we usually make uh, our uh, demonstrations in this area <coughs> um, much of the work in, uh, in uh, spectrum management and radio planning is geographically orientated so it's good to have a good map viewer good capabilities to present various types of maps and um, to perform manipulations in the map the main thing I'm going to use it for is to um, to navigate when I place uh, new uh, radio stations the example for this uh, video is uh, uh, digital television and I will create a, a new digital TV station at some location uh, in the map I, I place the cursor I right click and select new station and TX position that opens uh, the template selector of RAP uh, all of these are predefined stations with all technical properties predefined it's very easy to create new templates the user of RAP can do that himself <coughs> and in that case in this case I'll use a, a template for a DVB uh, T2 uh, TV transmitter according to the high definition uh, 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 standard so DVB T2 it opens like that I will call this just DVB T2 uh, station number one now all data is predefined for this TV station I can change data of course here by manual for instance double clicking in the frequency field here and enter some other frequency 530 megahertz for instance or I can select from an allotment a channel plan if I want to have this uh, station instead on, on uh, let's say 514 
Megahertz channel 25 I can do that and then I can remove uh, the, the earlier frequency there this is uh, a, a practical procedure if I know that this new TV station is supposed to have exactly this frequency if I later I'm going to use the automatic frequency assignment uh, tool in RAP I can do that and then it will optimize the assignment in accordance with the, the interference conditions among all the existing and new stations that we are planning for the time being I'll, I'll just uh, stay with 514 megahertz Um, on the TX equipment tab there are more of technical information for this particular uh, TV transmitter so here I can see that it's the template is defined for a 30 dB watt radiated power that's one kilowatt antenna height 50 meters horizontal polarization uh, the details of, of the uh, parameters of the standard can be found as a transmitted property on the modulation tab and in this case it is uh, the 32k mode uh, selection of the dvb t2 standard uh, tg over tu 116 1 over 16 giving me a tg of 224 microseconds and this in turn defines the maximum uh, propagation uh, difference the, the uh, distance the, the, the maximum difference in propagate propagation path distance in order not to have interference within a single frequency network so if uh, transmitters are more than 67 kilometers apart in in an SFN <coughs> there will be some interference contribution because the guard uh, band uh, the time guard band uh, of TG does not support longer than 67 kilometers whether that is harmful or not is is another issue and that can be anal analyzed uh, in rep by the coverage calculations so we'll stay with this uh, uh, setting and on the last tab there uh, are settings in general to define for instance uh, which TV standard uh, if, if I w w were using was using uh, analog TV or any of the digital TV standards that we support this of course has to be uh, has to correspond to what we define for the transmitter in this case it is a DVB T2 transmitter we're using so we should use of course the same standard for the for the TV station uh, the effective antenna height can be calculated um, and that is just by pressing calculate then it is calculated for every 10 degree uh, increment 0 to 350 degrees and this may be a requirement if uh, uh, the TV station is to be coordinated according to the ITU procedures so there it is in the map now I can open it again by double clicking on it and it opens the same edit station there and it also appears in the project list view here where I also can edit by double clicking on it and um, the first quick demonstration of a calculation on this radio uh, station on this TV station is with the coverage I will do a field strength calculation and uh, there are many settings many selections in the coverage tool those that are relevant for broadcasting uh, TV broadcasting are mainly the field strength the uh, margin 
EW minus EU. This means uh, uh, wanted field strength minus uh, usable field strength and the margin in dB above that. So for instance, if, if a, a margin value of zero is indicated, that means that, uh, that we, we are just fulfilling uh, the reception criteria in terms of, of a wanted field strength and the uh, a nuisance field, the inter which is the interfering field strength and the protection ratio uh, as a function of frequency offset. All the settings that I make in RAP can be saved and retrieved uh, in order to personalize the, the, uh, the appearance and the selection of, of uh, functions, and parameters and so on in RAP. I'm not using any kind of preset now, so every every window opens in the preset, uh, no, in in the uh, default mode for me. I select a mobile, and the mobile gives the technical characteristics of the test point where we move around over the calcul over the uh, calculation area where we are to de determine the coverage. And I have plenty of mobiles here, and the selection, of course, would be much more li limited if I had adapted my setup for broadcasting. Um, I would select uh, this one, uh, TV DVB-T2 directional, because I want to make um, an illustration of using this planning for fixed reception. And I'll perform the calculation around the transmitter. I'll select a propagation model where we have uh, many selections. I'll use uh, the ITU P1546, which is popular for broadcasting. And we, I can make some settings here. For instance, uh, we want to have a probability, uh, the local availability probability of 90% to achieve coverage. When I press OK, the calculation starts, and there is a progress uh, meter that uh, is indicates that now it is ready. The result appears in the results in project folder, coverage results, coverage results area. We have other types we can calculate along lines or in points, in test points, for instance. Showing this in the map gives uh, this coverage. The irregular appearance uh, here is due to um, uh, the terrain influence. So it's, it's due to hills and also forests and, and the buildings, if there are, but this is mainly a, mainly a a rural area, so not much of building influence, but uh, forest and, and uh, hills influence a lot. I'll make some demonstrations of a, a map capability here, where I can zoom in. And uh, I can set the map to be displayed in grayscale, which is convenient when I have colored representation of the coverage areas. So I'll set the map to be displayed in, in grayscale instead of full color, which gives a clearer view of, of just the coverage. Uh, the values here, uh, or the colors, represent um, the minimum acceptable field strength is automatically calculated based on based on the receiver properties. The receiver has, in in this case, it actually has the uh, the nominal dVb T two uh, um, properties characteristics. In this case, it requires twenty dB signal to interference ratio. It requires 
a, uh, it has a certain noise figure and uh, that calculates to a sensitivity and uh, and with the use of of the directional receiving antenna it results in a, a need for 42.4 dB microvolt per meter field strength for good reception. Um, uh, uh, by the way, I should, perhaps I, I, I should inform here also that in coverage information, uh, RAP supports um, population coverage analysis uh, if a population database is available. And I, I could then perform a population coverage analysis and, and the number of persons, uh, people covered by this, these field strengths would appear here. Covered sum, for instance, that would be the number of, of uh, households or whatever the, popula uh, the population database uh, represents. But not right now there is no, no population database uh, uh, activated. The map has many display features. I can, for instance, change this to a three-dimensional display, which uh, sometimes is, is nice uh, when an analyzing coverage in uh, mountainous areas and, and have a very clear view of uh, what is producing coverage uh, limitations, uh, what were the main obstacles and uh, that result in poor coverage. So uh, three dimensions can be nice sometimes, but uh, perhaps we, we mostly use the two dimensional display for practical planning purposes. Uh, I'll return to the previous scale uh, with a quick command like that. Um, and I will remove the coverage because I'm happy with that. I want to show it, uh, remove all results. Now, um, for the further demonstration, I'll uh, uh, create a single frequency network in a very simple fashion and perform single frequency network coverage calculations. It is convenient then for me when I create this default network to show the stations with a circular area. So I will show the stations with a user defined circular area and I choose to do it with 40 kilometer radius. The reason for the 40 kilometers is that uh, uh, the particular settings uh, of the parameters allowed a 67 kilometer maximum distance between two stations in order not to have interference contributions within the network. And uh, with a 40 kilometer radius, placing other stations on the radius here uh, will give a maximum distance of uh, 80 kilometers, which is more than 67, so we should have some contribution uh, of interference within the network. It's convenient now to uh, use the quick uh, copy paste command. So I press the control key, place the um, cursor on top of the station to be copied, I press and move to the desired location. When I release uh, the mouse button, I create an exact copy. And I continue to do that now uh, because to create this in a symmetrical way, it's just uh, to place the stations at the intersection of the circles. That will give me the. Uh, there, it's it's behind the the coordinate value there, but uh, it is at that location, and we have one to place there also. So now we have um, 
7 in a symmetrical network. I will create a single frequency network now of these, so I select the network uh, and call it uh, SFNA for instance and uh, give it a frequency I forgot what, well it, it's not important, let's put it on 530 MHz or I could select again from from the allotment, but that's, that's okay to do in this way and I define it to be a single frequency network which is an important property because then the interference calculations are are changed uh, t to account for the dependence between the stations in the network. Now I put them into the network mark them all here enter them into the network and press OK. That concludes. Ah, main <laughs> didn't I put? No, I actually didn't. It didn't accept the frequency I entered. I, uh, that was just a slight error on, on my behalf. So I, I, I'll select it from the channel plan instead. Select uh, 506 megahertz. There we are, and now it should be okay. So I have created the, <coughs> the network. It appears in Networks in Project, so there it is. Now, uh, to calculate the coverage for this network, uh, the combined coverage of all the seven stations, including the interference contributions, due to the, the 80 kilometer uh, maximum distance between the stations. I run the coverage tool again, but this time I mark all of them. And I select to make this as a combined calculation, a composite calculation. Signal to interference ratio or uh, carrier to interference ratio uh, is, is the identical term. We tend to use signal to interference in in RAP, but it, for all practical purposes, it is the same definition as carrier to interference. Selecting the mobile again, and now I select an omnidirectional mobile because. I want I don't want to include the antenna discrimination that uh, the directional antenna would would give me uh, to discriminate against interference so with omni directional it receives the wanted signal and the interference signals uh, uh, with the same uh, gain well 0 dBi in this case I perform the calculation around the center station and let's do it for 80 kilometer range uh, which includes then the 40 kilometer to the nearby station and another 40 kilometer to include coverage beyond that. I will not use a terrain dependent propagation model now because of course I can do that and in, in practice we would do that. But what I want to uh, show now is, is the more symmetrical properties uh, that are inherent in the single frequency network. And if I use a terrain dependent propagation model that will be obscured by, by uh, uh, the terrain features, hills and uh, forests. So this is a composite S over I for the SFN, SFN A. <coughs> uh, the, the settings I, I've done now will give the median uh, probability of coverage. I can make uh, settings here to select other probabilities, but I'll just do it for the median. Pressing OK runs the calculation.
and the result appears there I make it visible and it looks like this the very nice symmetry due to the symmetrical nature of the network and non terrain dependent propagation model and not no harmful not really harmful interference contribution within the network uh, red color indicates uh, better than 20 db signal to interference ratio and 20 db is is uh, the, the defined requirement for for this uh, these settings of the dvbt2 standard uh, fixed reception uh, rhizion type of of fading uh, or location variability and uh, and then the uh, well whatever requirements for for the minimum one the field strength and so on uh, yellow is uh, uh, 6 db higher so 26 db better than that and green is 32 db these can be changed and any any values can be entered the uh, setting here for this particular calculation um, does not give a visible uh, appearance of interference within the network and the reason for that is that even though the maximum distance propagation distance difference is for uh, is uh, 80 kilometers and the standard allows for 67 the parameters at a, a distance where from a station where that propagation path difference would appear that would be about uh, 13 kilometers away from 80 minus 13 equals 67 so it's around here where I have the cursor now uh, 13 kilometers east of copy 4 of DVB T2 at that point the wanted signal from DVB T2 um, at the center station and from the wanted uh, the, the nearby station and also from others here are so much stronger than the interfering contribution which only comes from a small part of the overlapping usable uh, or in this case interfering uh, signal from copy of dvb t21 so uh, there's not no appearance here if i were to to uh, make have the distances larger there may appear uh, interference contributions and give a, a much more irregular behavior uh, or appearance to this to this coverage now this demonstration was only uh, to to uh, to display very basic and to show very basic capabilities in terms of digital TV planning uh, the uh, complete analysis uh, will also naturally include in interference considerations to existing stations that can be found for instance in the in the plan here Geneva 06 uh, the D digital TV plan um, I would also then in a complete demonstration of this run the frequency assignment uh, part of of the broadcast tool uh, which is here but uh, that is, is a fairly similar type of presentation that will follow in, in a separate video uh, where we talk about uh, FM sound broadcasting because the broadcast tool covers both digital TV, analog TV uh, digital sound broadcasting and analog sound broadcasting and this quick demonstration was actually just to give an overview of uh, of using the coverage tool and uh, uh, implementation of single frequency network calculations so that concludes uh, this presentation